Hi everyone, welcome to the KOOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be using Groovy collections in our sessions. Last video we learned a little bit about Groovy collections because RestaShare uses Groovy collections and we learned uh, a little bit, we played with, with some collections, but today we're going to be using those in our sessions. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. Uh, also, I'm also going to be posting the links for, for the previous videos and let's start. So we have in, in our pet store this endpoint which we, are have be, we already have been using. It returns some values and we can check here that we have a couple names, right? To have animal, all the animals have names. So it's cat2, cat3, dogs. Lion 1, Lion 2. So Groovy Collection allows me to very simply uh, search for this and do my assertion without having to loop through a whole chunk of objects and, and have to deal with a lot of objects and, and, and it, iterate over those objects. So this is what we're going to be using to simplify our life. So if we look at our pet store here, we're going to create a new scenario. So I'm going to copy and paste just for the sake of velocity. So list only pets available for selling. We have a, a similar one here, uh, but I don't want to uh, use this because I want to leave it there for, for, example, for the example for you guys to keep it up. So list pets available for selling. Given that I have pets available and I search for all pets available, uh, then I receive a list of seven pets available. So let's take a look at our, our, at our pet API. So we have two methods. We have the get pets by status and have the get pets response by status. This is returning a list of objects of pet. And this is returning the actual response. So this is the one that we want to use because you need to, we need to work in the response. So I'm going to change a little because this, when I search for all the pets available, it's already using it's using the, the actual pets that uh, transform, deserialize into an object and I don't want that, right? So I need to change the word a little. So when I do a search for all pets available, so it's enough, then I receive a list of seven pets available. Uh, so I can create a new method here. So when I do a search for all pets available, this needs to be a word. So I'm going to be doing string uh, status. And I'm going to create a new variable here so we can share. Re this is going to be a response and I'm going to call it actual pets response. So we can differentiate between those two. So now, uh, I'm going to do actual pets response. He's going to receive uh, pets API dot get pets response by status, and I send on the status. Awesome. So now, then I receive a list of seven pets available. I need to check for these seven pets available, right? So this already recognized as an integer. So I'm going to put pets quantity. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the response and now I'm going to start doing my rest assured thing. So then, then what? Then my status code needs to be two hundred. Right? Great. Another thing that I want to check is uh, the body, right? I need the body to be of seven items. And this also needs to be a word, right? So word and string status. So I'm going to say my body. And now 
I'm going to Groovy Collections and I'm going to be posting the link for what have what we have learned for Groovy Collection, right? So now what I can say is I want my size of the whole response. I want to do, I want to, to get the size for my whole response. And the size needs to be the same as the patch quantity, right? But this is not enough, right? Because I want I want the patch to be, I want all the patch to be available, right? Because I can have seven items here, but if one of them is not available, it's pending, that's incorrect because I searched only for the available one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a find all. So it's going to find everything, it's going to look for everything that I'm going to be sending in this closure. And I'm going to say IT for item, and I want the status to be available. Available, right? And this, Sorry, I, I, this is going to return an array of items that it found, and I want the size of that array, and this needs to be the same as pets quantity. All right, so if I comment this out, so I can run my test, I can see that the test already worked, right? So if I change this to five, it should fail because we have, we have seven and not five, right? All right, but this is still not what I wanted because this is, I'm using the actual value here. I want to use the variable that's coming from my test. So what I need to do is I need to finish, I need to close this string and I need to concatenate with the variable. The same thing on the other side, I need to concatenate and I need to open the string. So there are two strings and a variable in the middle and this is my variable. So this is seven, I can rerun my test. If I change here to sold, it should fail because I don't have those sold, right? I have less, see, there is no sold here, only, uh, only available. So this is available, awesome. So now this last one, and three pets has the name lion. I need to create a new one. And this is also another word. This is pets quantity. And this is a string of pet name. And I need to do a similar thing here on the response. So I'm going to just copy and paste this. And I'm going to uh, so let me do the correct identification here. I, I don't need the status code anymore, right? Because I'm already checking the status code. But now I need to check the body, right? I don't need this anymore and I don't need this anymore. Right, so what I need is I want the names to be lying, right? So I need to do a find all. I open a closure. And I say IT for item, uh, the name. So this is what I want, the name of the item. The name of the item must contains, contain the name line. This is going to give me a collection. I'm going to get the size of that collection. And that collection needs to be the same size as the patch quantity. Oh, it's comma. Right? So if I now rerun my test, great. But I need to change this to line, right? So to, to the actual value here. So I'm going to just open and close and put my variable inside. I'm going to rerun again. You see that passed. I can change here to lean. And it failed because there are no animals lean, right? I can change, so let me go back to lion. I can change this instead of calling the contains, I can say starts with, and it's going to check if 
the name starts with lion and it does because it's lion one lion two lion three so everything worked i can say ends with in this case it's going to fail because uh there is none that ends with lion because it's again lion one lion two lion three so I'm going to leave with contains and I'm going to rerun against so our last run. It's a successful run. So you can see the power of this because we did in just one line something that if you if you would rely on Java, you're going to receive an object and you have to look in, into that object. So it, you'd have a list of objects that you go, you would have to iterate over those objects. You'd have to search for something that you are looking for. You'd have to remove that one from from that list in a in a result array and then you have to check the result array of course uh java since java 8 there is a stream which helps you a lot but it's still more than one line so groovy collection give you a lot of power and flexibility so that's it uh if you like it give the thumbs up and it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos and I'm going to see you on the next video. Thank you.